my name is Nasha Petrina and I'm going to present our new paper, which is called Machine Learning Based Generalized Model for Finite Element Analyzer of Global Reflection During the Asymptotic Stainless Steel 316L Stripper. First, uh, let me give you a, a short overview around this presentation. Uh, first, uh, we will have uh, the introduction. After that, uh, we will see the methodology and model uh, which we used in our uh, proposed model. Uh, then you will see uh, the deflection on both four characteristics part, uh, as well as uh, artificial neural network. Uh, and after that, you will see uh, the evaluation on results part. Part, um, sorry. And finally, we are going uh, through the conclusion discussion. What is work role deflection? Forces acting within the role gap, uh, which caused by the resistance of the metal deformation, result in the elastic deformation of the role, which you can see in this figure. Uh, and uh, change the rule dimensions uh, from a uh, rigid form to the deformed form, uh, elastic deformed form, which you can see in this figure. And uh, which characteristics of uh, authentic stainless steel 316 makes it to behave differently from other kinds of steel? The results of the X-ray pattern diffraction of the deform stainless steel 316L show three different phases, including uh, epsilon martensite, austenite, and alpha prime, uh, alpha prime um, martensite. Uh, during the uh, cold plastic deformation of the mentioned steel, uh, the um, strain induced mountain side transformation occurs, which leads uh, to the improvement of the mechanical properties of the steel. In our proposed model, uh, we are uh, going uh, through the three main steps. First, we follow the Erwin's uh, theorem and solve the equilibrium equation using a finite difference approach. Uh, then uh, we are going to calculate the mean pressure which the S strip applies to the role. And uh, uh, finally, we are going to calculate the um, role deflection uh, utilizing numerical finite element analysis and this mean pressure which uh, we calculated from previous step. Uh, also, uh, we conducted a series of uh, mechanical tensile tests in a various um, strain rate uh, in a room temperature. All the specimens are on it at uh, 1040 centigrade for uh, 20 minutes. Uh, and, and finally, we collect the strain and uh, stresses from tests uh, to make a required data set. Uh, we used uh, this uh, data set uh, to train a regression neural network in order to predict the dynamic flow of stress during the deformation more accurately. Uh, in our proposed network, S strain and S strain rates uh, are uh, considered to be our inputs and uh, dynamic flow of stress are uh, considered uh, to be our uh, outputs. Here we can see the uh, general form of uh, equilibrium equation, uh, which uh, we um, solved it uh, for both intracyte and extracyte. For both sides, we consider uh, the forward difference approach uh, and also dynamic flow stress of uh, the strip update from uh, our proposed uh, ANM. Uh, in each step. Here you can see the uh, forward difference formulation of the uh, equilibrium equation for entry side. And here uh, you can see the uh, forward difference formulation for the exit side. Finally, we uh, calculate the mean pressure as uh, of the 
intersides uh, to reach uh, the distributed load, which uh, the strip applies to the roll during the uh, rolling process. After that, uh, we um, use this uh, mean pressure as a distributed load uh, in this equation, which uh, is uh, used uh, for calculating the work roll deflection. In this equation, W represents uh, the work roll deflection. It uh, represents the length of the Rule and I uh, represents uh, the second moment of internal. Uh, we calculate the work uh, rule deflection from two uh, different sides. Uh, first, using Galafin rated residual uh, method to, to reach in the finite element formulation for the beam element. To calculate the work roll deflection using numerical analyzers. Second, uh, we use this uh, equation uh, to calculate the maximum deflection, uh, which um, occurs in the rule. Uh, to calculate the work roll deflection in, uh, in an analytical manner. And here uh, you can see that uh, according to the distribution of our original data, uh, we use a linear regression. Uh, the general formulation of the linear regression uh, is uh, represented uh, here. Uh, X uh, is represent uh, the feature vectors of our data. A graph is output prediction uh, and total number of data, beta, and um, weight and uh, epsilon bias. Uh, in our case, uh, it uh, represents uh, S train and S train weights values, and Y represents uh, predicted dynamic fluid stress. Here we can see the uh, architecture of our proposed model. Uh, we used, uh, or, um, sorry, we considered uh, S train and S train rates uh, as our inputs, and uh, also uh, we considered uh, blue stress uh, as our output. Uh, we used 70% uh, of our data uh, for training. 15% uh, of our data for uh, validation and 15% of our data to test in our network. Mean score error method uh, used uh, for calculating the error uh, which occurs uh, to in the prediction of our uh, flu stress and uh, in our proposed artificial neural network. And uh, now I'm going to do the explanation of our uh, results and contributions uh, which we have in our proposed uh, model. As you can see here in this uh, table, uh, by increasing uh, the number of passes, uh, the um, amount of uh, decreasing uh, in thickness of the steel or strip is decreased. Uh, and this is because the uh, strain induced martensile transformation, which occurs in, uh, during the cold deformation of the strip. Here we can see the intersection of the entry side and exit side and pressure uh, values. Uh, which um, uh, this point uh, is represents uh, the uh, neutral point uh, for uh, one uh, pass uh, rolling. Uh, the location of the neutral point uh, for one pass rolling uh, using our proposed model, our numerical proposed model is 1.31 decrease. While 
the location of the neutral point using analytical uh, manner uh, or using this uh, equation is uh, one dot and uh, four two. As uh, these two values are um, uh, almost uh, similar to each other, uh, we can um, um, consider our uh, numerical uh, model uh, as a reliable model to predict the mean pressure which uh, the strip uh, applies to the roll during the rolling process. Uh, here you can see the mean pressure values uh, as a distributed load uh, for multi-pass rolling. Uh, and uh, as you can see, uh, obviously by, uh, by uh, increasing the number of passes, uh, the values uh, of the main pressure uh, increase. Uh, here uh, you can see that uh, by increasing the number of passes, uh, the value of uh, deflection increase and uh, also uh, you can see the deflection values vary according to the normal distribution along the different uh, rule. And this is because the plane strength conditions uh, which uh, we have uh, in a strip rolling process. And uh, finally, here you can see that um, we used our proposed model to estimate uh, the deflection value uh, of the two uh, radius of the root. Uh, you can see that by increasing uh, the radius of the rule, uh, the deflection value uh, decreased. And here uh, you can see. Uh, comparison between uh, the analytical and uh, numerical uh, results of our uh, role deflection. Uh, as um, there is a considerable uh, deviation between the numerical results and analytical results, we can uh, consider our proposed model to be uh, effective and uh, useful uh, to predict uh, the exact value of the deflection which occurs uh, during the uh, plate rolling process. Uh, finally, uh, I'm going to uh, overview uh, some uh, conclusions uh, which uh, we had in this work. In this work, we proposed a generalized model to predict more realistically the rule deflection of the oscillated SMSSC 316L. Instead of using the constant value of real stress during the multi-pass rolling process, we used finite difference formulation of the equilibrium equation, which led to the estimation of the mean pressure which the S trip enforced to the rules during the formation. After that, uh, using finite element analyzers, we calculate the deflection of the work roll tools. To the best of our knowledge, uh, this is the most generalized model specific to the asymmetric SMSSC 316 which considers uh, dynamic fluid stress and the strain induced mountain type formation during the rolling uh, using finite element analysis and machine learning approach. And uh, additionally, we create uh, S stress 316 uh, data set, uh, the first public data set for a strain stress values of a asymmetric SMSSC 316 during fall tension from a real experiment. And uh, uh, for uh, our future work, uh, we will consider the temperature factor uh, in the tensile test by conducting different subsidy temperature tests uh, in order to explain our S stress at uh, 316 uh, set. 
It would be beneficial to generalize our data set by conducting transcribe tests uh, on other skills. With uh, increasing the dimensionality of the uh, feature vectors, uh, we could uh, utilize different networks, train different different networks, and assembling uh, the resulting fit uh, would be also beneficial. And uh, finally, uh, thank you for your uh, listening and uh, for your attention.